I am your host, Chabaka Nguve. Veteran VOA Zimbabwe journalist Lucy Yasini was laid to rest this afternoon at the Glen Forest Cemetery in Harare. Politicians, journalists and other mourners paid their last respect and former Triple C spokesperson Gift Ostalo Ziba had this to say. Isu unezi matongo renyika Kya iziwa a courageous and a fearless veteran journalist Lucy isu pataka tanganya as a politics Atina kutanga kune sana nana mkave nana mnangako Taka tanga kune sana niwa ivana nyakura tiku university kichu hila mafonzo nesu Vana Lucy ndo waka uya wachi documenta our struggle as student leaders but it was your struggle is not different from the struggle in the nation. But it is this is that you must be known, Munika, to advise you what is the struggle in the university. But it is this is that you are a student leader, you know, you are a press conference. But it is that you are a university, you are a vice university, but we are a media center. But it is our first press conference. I see different values there that are progressive because she knew that we were young, excitable, and without knowledge. No, but if I'm coaching for me, they send up a corridor. But I have a press conference for the student president, for the governor, secretary general. Go down, which was the media, which is the teacher, my child, to move very safe investors. That was a former Triple C spokesperson, Gift Ostalo Ziva, speaking to mourners in Harare. Former workmate at ZBC, Tilda Moyo, says that Lucy's death is a loss to the media fraternity and that her professional work was an inspiration to young journalists in Zimbabwe. We were like family. Chero Pataka Zuva, who's a GC or Machito Zavarquita, Takaramba Takango Batan, would meet, would share my stories, Kanapani Nyei Ripo, Kanapani Ziripo, Tiger Rachingo Communicator. So I remember when I heard Kutis Lucy is not okay, Nakambata and Katuko Chiruzi in the eating casa and Azanda, then in the hospital, but anyway, and I write. Because okay, why write is like our Buddha, yes, and no, I'm still in the hospital. Because you know what, I'm on my way going out of the country, but as soon as I come, Nduwe and Chikwana. But in the case of what they were, they couldn't get you one message. You could see Lucy is no more. Let's uh, learn from Shakana Kazese, Shait Kabasara Ibatwanan, na Sis Lucy. She noted that she was in the industry, and she was in the industry, and she was in the industry. That was former workmate at ZBC, Tilda Moyom. Lucy Yasini, who succumbed to cancer this Monday and had worked with UOA Zimbabwe for 16 years, was laid to rest at the Glen Forest Cemetery in Harare, where colleagues, politicians and other mourners described her as a mentor who took young journalists under her wing. She will always be remembered for her sterling work. 79 Triple C members who were arrested on Sunday while commemorating the Day of the African Child will spend the weekend in remand prison after their bail ruling was postponed to Tuesday. The bail hearing was already, has already been postponed twice this week. <laughs> International Human Rights Organization, Amnesty International, has characterized the arrest of Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change leader Jameson Timba and the party youths as part of a disturbing pattern of repression and demanded their unconditional release. The United Nations has previously raised concerns over the deteriorating human rights situation in Zimbabwe. The government has ignored this call for independent investigations of abductions, torture and killing of opposition critics. However, Arare claims 
it is investigating the cases. To discuss this issue, we are joined on Skype by, by political analyst and ZANU-PF member Mr. Masimba uh, Mawaza and on the line by independent analyst Mr. Tim Muringai and uh, political analyst and consumer rights advocate Mr. Efi Lela Ngobe. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome, Zimbabwe. Thank you. Um, we will start with... Uh, Thank you. We'll start with you, Mr. Muringai. What's your take on the way the bail hearings uh, have been handled, seeing that it is the third time it has been uh, postponed in uh, one week? Uh, thank you, everybody. I mean, it is the miscarriage of justice, as we have continually been seeing uh, Zanu PF acting like a bully government in uh, directing uh, the police to go and arrest people in a private uh, facility uh, of which they did not have uh, uh, a warrant of arrest and all these other things just by going by hearsay and what people are saying. So that's what we have been saying for a long, long time, that this kind of uh, execution of justice should stop. We are a democratic republic, and uh, we need the rule of law to be instilled. I mean, if you, people are meeting at your house and there's no... Uh, commotion or cause of concern, uh, but uh, people just doing their own business, why should they be arrested? There was no need for that. That's uh, uh, an over-policing uh, of, of, of wrong things when we have seen so many corruption deals and uh, evidence of documentaries showing that uh, these people have not been apprehended. But when people meet to just discuss whatever is bothering them, then they arrested. So, yeah, we have an issue with that. Thank you. Vama uh, Vaza, you want to say nyai. Thank you very much. Shok Tanga, the Shoku T, Nika is Zimbabwe, Inika in the Telegram, Temo, Zakada, Saka, Vanawa, Van Vazinja, Vakasunga, and Kwana Kuta, Makuma, Nome, Nema Nome, Kusangani, Family, or what? Vakanga, which is Kora Mutemo. Temo, I will not pass up to our school in a pie, as well as Kora Mutemo. Kana mukaita gunga anore zuma tonge ruwe nyika. Azuna pasa na masanga na pai. Muno fanyo la kuzivisa mapurisa. Mokumbira. Kwa zero ya kuti mubumizwe kuita masanga na yonu. Kuita sayo zozo. Wana timba. Wakangu ungana. E, Chepiri ndana uti kuzi kuta aiwa. Mapurita ya mzimbabwe. Kwa wawano. Wana mburu kwa nangu kukamina wakati kwa makumbo. Waida kweza kutiza. Wangalai jamba. Ujua the crowd. Eh, out the Katasamaji Panya, a Kutonga, a question about Tiso. Utongi and a Vumo, a Kumbo, or a Naya Pua. I napi, I sing a Dipa, Kunevan, and Kalavita Makumi, Manome, Nemanome, Saka Arbuta Samu, Wega, Wega, put under Kodzero, Yuku, a marriage, but Saka Zaita could hear at our good ah, Zokai, the Manguan, Dania to Zita. Kutarisa, Nayim, Nekuna, Tino Batsirika, Saka Wanga Barra, Maya, Wichema, Kumuchema, Gustam Soro, but you were too, Evan Waru Junior, Zimbabwe, and Aujinir, and Iowa, who catch and get a mutemo, Aujinir. And I will be able to see the Chabangu, Nawanu, a full Arab, but it's an Arab. The good work is a mutemo. Ravatim Barra with a house, the very younger, Parasanga, or the Purisa. As if I'm sort of saying, as in name is Anupia, Zanupia, and you know, Kotola Mapurisa, and you know, Tinet is the Yarrow of Zimbabwe, and you know it out to Asume or Asunumur. Zanupia is another equal actor. Baruto, you are out of your own Sunubu or Wow, Baruto, you are all free to meow, Baruto, you are not going to have a Sinaku and Vu, Bano Sunga, Saka Mutemo no is Gaza, Kafana and Guadalese. Saka apa, tika shule mapurisa, nekuti mapurisa, arutezra mutemo, 
nenzira ili pa mtemo nenzira tipa na kuzimisa kuti aiwa tikasa tedzera mutemo wenyika tinosungwa Tino tenda e, vama vaza ticha zoka shakare kwa muri e, pambera po tichitarsa ma taura nyaye kuti aiwa varku tevedzira mutemo mapurisa asi vanhu vatirikuona vakakuvara ava vanhu vakakuvara e, musi wesondo e, pavakasungwa asi vakazopua mvumo yekuti vaende kuno rapwa nezuro manero anova e, musi wachishanu e, tichizinzwa kuti pane vana vaienda kuti vaende kuno rapwa ku parenya tachazodzoka kwa muri e, tichitarisa nyaya iyoyo e, sivi yegini lapana vava nguve si ubona gongo kwenza kala eloku si ubona umbigo ovela e amnesty international ungaba ngumbigo esingabona u patisa na nga sikangela utubololo yebo ukara teki lega kulu uti mwubume nga bantu ya msaveni bakulume basole uwe pula wama lungi nga bantu izi mbapo evele ka hiku tiini loko kwenzuwa nga mapolisa sipaka tuko kuyanga sipaka tuko mdala sikwela usizo izi pala zomile ama saragala nyotu wabanta bala gota kukumele kubese nyuzi ni uti senza njani uti lizwe ni vuge dine uti lizwe ni serenzi kuserenzi zikoli zipedi lana kukonke ayu uti kubese nyuzi ni uti ama polisa avimbela avoso politiku uti benze loko ogulilungi lana kuna pansu kwa serenzi zombu si konstitusi na koge ine ketipa klisi tige e tolo hizi bato la ino eti yenza kuna tola kadoso mapizmisa baza leta ino ani ye yenza ukuthi kube nzima ukuthi yamukeleke njalo emhlabeni wonke jikelele njalo ukukhuthala kwamapolisa kuso sonke isikhathi uma kusiza kwepolitiki uyakhathaza kakhulu ngoba akasiboni ke kukhuthala ngendlela efanayo nga sikhuluma ngabantu abakucorruption abantu abeba inkala kata zezimali ese zikuphisa izwe ngamadolo ngakho ke kuyakhathaza khona lokha sikubona ukuthi kuhleke ukuthi inhlanganiso zinjengabo Amnesty International nezinye inhlanganiso ezivela malunga labantu zikuvezwe kahle kamshopho ukuthi lokho kwenzeke zibathe kakuhlanga kodwa ke vele bekungadinga ukuthi kuze kushike kubo Amnesty International thina ngokwethu njengabantu ke Zimbabwe sizi sizakhami zinje u president obusayo o vice president i cabinet i parliament wonke umuntu kumele sinedisane ngobe ngisamalungelo ahlelitswe ngobe ngizale misambijana bese liphenduka kulo ngenelela phana ecingweni esi thinta ese Botswana yebo lingenele ukuhlelo hayi siyaphila mama ngikhuluma lobani ikhuluma lolo ndandweza ye libona njani udaba lolo esi eqoxa ngalo namhlanje Awa lolo lunzi magwete mtoli kuta yezi mbapo wanda wakulileza nyuza nye nzimta ndo ya yungo wa awula isu za chawa ngatiba kotele ama lunga ya chutu si lukuti bezwa cha ya bezwa cha mwile stoli si nge ya diso kona lori ya tipeze yedu suwone ndiruti nge ya politi senye la nilo kwenza mbubu ngatu ya kaila masela ahamba panji gini mundi ya gini mundi ya gini mundi ya gini mundi ya gini mundi kumbe ele kula o uche nzotu wa chawa nga mapoli si binabanda wa chongtai Ndekuona mapolisi vanga masela la pabandu wajo njizi nkomu wabona li hambagus. Kandu waya le tripu singari kwe kutu numerebe li chaya. Ngare chaya njadi zanya ki. Iti wona izanyi wa chaya. Ndi ya kwenzi lo kena ili shugu mneza aba tigi saye. Ayi siya bonga kulu mama nga mazwenu. Ye guse njlebe ni siza kwela njalu uti aba guli nkunda ve pendule utaba ele kuluma ngalo. Siya bonga uti lingenile gushelo. Vapa ngube linga kivela pana nga mafichane ewe ligu kulumu. Ye bonga bonga kulu bengi nisa kunisa kuna napu uti kakuti na gali uti wetu nga manumilo abandu nga nendela. Kwa na loku izi bapi kutola ayo emshabe nukuti kulu nye gadi nye zezo za yo ezi ndika kutingagani ngoba wea ndi maza istu nselizwe kwenza oso matizmi saba wafu nukule trima ali kutabe imseli nduku vulezo mnoto banye zelizwe ni nga kwa 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 Yes, ya bonga, baba ngube. Coming back to you, uh, Mr. Mringai, we do you see the government acknowledging and implementing uh, the call by Amnesty International in brief? 
Uh, well, you cannot uh, 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 find a leopard changing its its its, its uh, stripes or its its colours. The one thing that we have to do as Zimbabweans is to come together. I heard uh, Mr. Mawaza right there trying to be very intelligent by saying, "Oh, the CC uh, Timba, CC uh, uh, Mr. Ngube, CC." No, there's opposition in in in, in unity. Uh, Zimbabweans belong to a republic, not a monarchy. So we are tired of all these uh, uh, things that are happening where, uh, when you're in opposition, whether whatever opposition you're in, we remember MRP was in the same situation before elections. We remember Zapu people were being uh, mistreated. So, you know, ZANU PF wants to play this divide and conquer game. No, if we are disagreeing with ZANU PF, they should be equal. Uh, access to police or equal uh, uh, access to uh, the courts, they have not been charged with anything at this moment. So why are they being remanded? Which is one thing that we are saying it should stop. Political uh, uh, arrest should stop. The elections are over. I don't know why there's an OPF, because they have uh, uh, failed to manage the economy because of the corruption that they are uh, involved in. We have heard about uh, Chivayo uh, talking about he owns the president. We have seen the documentary where gold was jumping the border. But none of those have been apprehended. If the police are so uh, enthusiastic to stop crime in Zimbabwe, they should arrest those people who are committing egregious uh, financial crimes that are uh, uh, cr uh, creating these uh, sorry situation for our country. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mringai. Vama eh, wazda to zoka kwa muri eh, mchilimbu tichi pezi sachirongwa manzwa eh, vamwe vataura vachi rati zapoti avasku siya nisa batoreza nupiefu ne eh, mapurisa uyeshe pachi pinda nyaze kuti pani nyaze uori azisi ku manira ne mapurisa ne nzira ya varku manira eh, nyaya zagada iva taura shekare nyaya eh, pani nyaya shekare anda taura ye kuti vano vava vano no kaku tiva tendere ku yenda kushipatara munga pindura nyaya ito zo eh, mchi mkangu Kadikika <laughs> Zanu PF, eh, aina chakuita, tawana timba, tawana chamangu. Zanu PF, ino usigazi ya izo matorayo, ende ino iko zilo sisi kutonga, tuja sankata utonga. Datimu kawona wano, waka kuwara wa shinzi, waka kuwara makumbu, waka kuwara pawaye, takuse tuka rujowa, ulepapa pawa timba, waka nusika pasi, ni mamiru wa sinakuna kwa waka kuwara makumbu. Akusi, kwa zirekuro wa ya, asari zekuro wa, Nunga ya za kuchukua, asini kutikune wa rukita uori, asini kusungwa, aiwa, kana tichizi ama zao, kabisa urei, mapulisa kami hila kwa asunga. Kune zaki, kune mapulisa, kune saka, kune zipuwa, kune zipuwa, kune zipuwa, kune zipuwa, kune zipuwa, pasa, kune kusunga, walele uori, kumapulisa, kune weko commercial unity, kune weko frauds, kune weko anti-corruption. Saka kune, mapulisa, arjo limu zikuwa na saka wanda, Baruku miri ila kusunga nina nina mundira mutime nonge zamai na chombo zino ita basare kuba ito zinzi. Taka kana kune wamuno ziwa asara sungwa indaye muno tawuri la wareza wakato mira kucheka ni matiri esa ni mawiri kutinye na Tinotenda wa mawaza, unfortunately nguwa ndo zati manye zapera. Three Zimbabwean women in agribusiness have acquired various agricultural skills after undergoing professional internship and training in universities and organizations involved in innovation, agro-entrepreneurship and empowerment in the United States under a program initiated by the State Department. VOA's Ivan Sininga reports.
The program, dubbed Advancing Young Women Professional Fellowship Program, included a four-week internship in Michigan with various organizations, coupled with additional seminars and training at Michigan State University and other parts of the region. Two of the women, Wendy Mazura and Caroline Vimbai Kaitano, had a brief stopover in Washington, D.C. Metropolitan, where they visited Chirandu Farm, owned by Zimbabwean sisters Masi and Precious Kuramatunu. Wendy, a renowned agriculturalist and head of agronomy services at Sidco Zimbabwe, says she learned a lot under the fellowship program. We got a chance to interact with and see farmers from different sectors as well as other agriculturalists from different areas of the value chain in agriculture that include apiculture, horticulture, we even saw hydroponics and got a chance to see the farmers who are doing value addition where they were even doing value addition of mushrooms and we got a chance to appreciate how corn is produced in the United States. Speaking on the sidelines of an event to mark the end of their program in the USA, founder and director of Carol's Seedlings and Veggies, Vimbai Caroline Caetano, indicated that she will impart the knowledge gained on other women back home. So when I go back home, like what really touched me the most was the aspect of value addition. People here do not waste anything. Everything is value added, giving value to your product, knowing what it is that you are doing and giving it value. Mumbai emphasized on the importance for women to take up agriculture as a serious business. We want to create a business out of agriculture. It's not just about farming, but growing farming as a business. That is the whole idea of why we are here, how we can make money out of agriculture, how we can make a living out of this. Maryland host Masi Guramatunu says it was a blessing to host the young women. It's very exciting that uh, I, I'm not a farmer by any means, so I'm going to be learning a lot from the two ladies visiting from Zimbabwe. Wendy Feather says farming is big business worldwide. As here in the United States, apparently you can buy a bundle of red for three dollars and above. You can even buy other vegetables for a lucrative return. So farming is indeed a business. It's exciting to note that the world over people need food. So farming will never go out of fashion. You really need to embrace farming as a formidable business. Some of the fellows were drawn from South Africa, Zambia, Rwanda, and other African nations. Evan, VOA News, Washington, D.C. Voters in the U.S. in this U.S. presidential election are vulnerable to bad actors using artificial intelligence to create disinformation that benefits rival politicians or promotes interests of foreign governments. VOA's Ivana Pidboska looks at the use of AI in election 2024 in this report narrated by Caroline Presutin. Artificial intelligence has already made an appearance in this election, as in this computer-generated photo of Donald Trump hugging infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci. And this fake robocall of Joe Biden telling New Hampshire voters to skip their primary. We'll need your help in electing Democrats up and down the ticket. The timing of electoral defects is what makes them so dangerous, says media expert Elaine Kmark of the Brookings Institution. Even 24 hours before the election, someone puts out a deep fake or a piece of disinformation. It's really difficult. It's really difficult to fight back. And that could, in a close election, it could make the difference um, between winning and losing. Rajul Gupta's firm Deep Media helps the Pentagon detect deep fakes, which he says are popular because they are inexpensive and easy to produce. End to end, it takes about 15 minutes to create a deep. There are many free services online. If you want to pay for some of the better ones, a 30-second audio clip is maybe two cents. Attorney and free speech advocate Ari Cohen. There's been a lot of talk about Russia, but China also, especially as they are fighting in the AI arms race to try and jump ahead. 
Cohen says the most sophisticated overseas operations aim to place a piece of political disinformation with influential Americans for them to pass on to others. The biggest U.S. tech firms and social media platforms have promised some voluntary self-regulation of AI in political campaigns, but no federal laws currently govern the practice. It's very, very difficult to regulate political speech in the United States. The First Amendment protects that core political speech very strongly, and for good reason. We don't want the government putting the hands on the scale, its finger on the scale of elections. Gupta says much of that difficulty lies in distinguishing between something that is false and something that is a characterization of an issue with which one might not agree. So how are we to know when something is a political deep fake? And the audio quality is bad? That is a hint that it could be AI generated. It might sound kind of silly or trivial, but actually just looking for those watermarks and being able to find those watermarks quickly in images, audio, and video can, again, filter out a lot. So if you're on a video call with someone and you think they're a deep fake, ask them to spin around in their chair. And uh, if they don't, they might be a deep fake. Cohen says AI can be used for good in politics. It can allow candidates to reach diaspora communities in their own languages. And it can give campaigns better insight into voter behavior so they can better tailor their messaging. For Ivana Bidborska in Washington, Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News. That brings us to the end of our show. We would like to take this opportunity to thank our guests, Mr. Masimba Mawaza, Mr. Tim Murengai, and Mr. F.P. Ntela Signing off in Washington, I am Chabokangulu.